Stop what you are doing. I mean seriously, the way you work is about to fundamentally change forever. Forget chatbots, forget AI assistant that just answer questions. OpenAI just dropped a bombshell and it's not just an update, it's a whole new category of AI. Hey everyone, welcome to Giving Back AI and in this video we will look into a chat GPT agent. This is the chat GPT agent and it's not here to help you with your work, it's here to do your work for you. And tools like Zapier and Anidan, they might be in big trouble. Alright, so let's break this down. OpenAI just published this blog post introducing chat GPT agent, bridging research and action. And the keyword here is agent. I want you guys to remember this word agent and why it makes so much sense calling it agent in this case here. A regular chatbot like chat GPT we know and love is of course conversationalist. We ask it a question, it gives you an answer, it's a tool, you are the user there. An agent however has hands, it has access, it can leave the chat window and go out into the digital world to perform tasks on your behalf. Think of it less like a calculator and more like a virtual employee you can hire in seconds. It connects to your apps, your email, your calendar, your project management tools and it does not just read them, it acts on them. It understands your goal and then creates and executes a multi-step plan to achieve it. So what does this actually mean in practice? Imagine you are a marketing manager. Your prompt isn't just write an email about our new sale. It's analyze our Q3 campaign performance across Google Ads and Meta. Identify the top 3 performing ads based on the ROI and draft a presentation for the leadership team summarizing the key takeaways. The agent connects to your ad platforms, pulls the data, runs the analysis, generates the charts and writes the entire first draft of the presentation. A task that would take a team half a day is done in minutes now. Or imagine you are a freelancer, you give the agent a single command, hey I just signed a new client, Innovate Corp. The proposal is in my latest email, set up the entire project for me. The agent now understands what the set of the project means for your context. It finds the email, creates the Google Drive folder, sets up the project board in the Trello and then using a preferred template creates a private Slack channel and even drafts the welcome email to the client ready for your review. It intuits the necessary steps without you programming a single one. Now I know some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, but I can already do this with tools like Anadan or Zapier and you are not wrong, but you are not right either. Let me tell you why. The difference here is profound. Tools like Anadan and Zapier or Make are just rule based automation. They work on an if this happens then do that model. If I get a new email with an attachment then save it to the drive. You are the architect here. You have to manually define every single trigger, every action and every path. It's powerful but it's rigid. If anything unexpected happens here, if the email subject is different for example, if the file is a zip instead of a PDF file, the whole workflow can break and you are building a machine. The chat GPT agent on the other hand is intent based automation. It's not a machine, it's a teammate. You will say, hey chat GPT agent, please set up the project for me and it's gonna use its reasoning engine to figure out what you're talking about and it will figure out the best steps and even if it has to adapt, it will do so. So Zapier here is like giving someone a very specific recipe. The chat GPT agent is like telling a professional chef, hey chef, please make me a delicious vegan dinner and the chef is gonna handle everything from planning the menu to cooking the meal. One is a tool, the other is a collaborator. This is bigger than just automating your inbox. We're looking at a future of autonomous agents here guys. Imagine an agent that manages your entire small business from lead generation to invoicing. Imagine AI agents collaborating with each other to run complex scientific research or manage a city's even great power. Imagine, imagine AI agents now collaborating with each other to run complex scientific research or manage a city's power grid. This is the first massive step toward AI.
that just does not process information but actively participates in the world's economy and infrastructure. It's exciting and yes, a little bit scary. It means we need to focus less on doing the tedious task and more on directing the work. Our value shifts to setting the right goals, the right strategy and providing crucial human oversight. Our job now becomes being the CEO of our own AI workforce. The chat GPT agent is a paradigm shift. We are moving from using software tools to leading software teams. The productivity ceiling just gone blown wide open. But I want to know what you think. So what is the most boring, repetitive, soul crushing part of your job that you would hand over to an agent on day one? Let me know down in the comments below and let's brainstorm the future together here guys. And if you are excited and terrified as I am about the future of AI, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into this technology and hit that notification bell so you don't miss what's coming up next. Because trust me guys, things are going to go wild from here. And thank you for watching, this is Giving Back AI.